All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Hope you're having a great day. We're having a great day, and we're coming at you. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie Hotline, fun line. Call the Bodie line. Say something nice to Bodie. Bodie's waiting for you. She's waiting to hear from you. Say your first name, where you're from. Sing your little zippity doo dah song. We'll sing it with you. Bodie will join in and do the background vo vocals, and that's kind of how we do it over here, Dean Bodie. So, remember, DeanBodie.com is the website. We got the links on there. Want to get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. The other link will get you over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show YouTube channel. Wow, is there a lot going on over here or what? I hope you're doing well, and you know, hey, we're doing our thing over here, and um, right off the bat, I got to bring you up to date on the refrigerator saga, because this here in my apartment is refrigerator number three. That's right, not number one, not number two, it's refrigerator number three, because it broke down again, and I thought the whirring noise on the last episode that I was talking about it. I thought it was going to come, I don't know, replace the little doohickey in the back where the noise was coming from, and we were going to be all dialed in. But it turned out that the maintenance guy came, opened up the front, he starts taking parts out the front, and I told him the noise is in the back, not the front. He goes, oh, in the back. I said, yeah, listen to it. So he goes in the back, he takes out the, I don't know, the condenser, whatever the little thing is back there that Billy Bob Danny Frank taught me on YouTube, something like that. That's got the little fan on it. I don't know. But he took it out and he left. And then he didn't come back. So the refrigerator was unplugged. I had all kinds of stuff in the freezer, all kinds of stuff in the fridge, grass-fed, grass-finished steaks. Grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. I had chicken. I had meatballs. Um, I had all kinds of stuff in the fridge. This is not the time to be disappearing and unplugging my fridge and freezer. So he doesn't come back. And I'm calling the office. What's going on with this guy? She says, I must have got distracted. I said... That's what it looks like. She said, I'll try to find out what's going on. And then I said, okay, sounds good. Okay, time goes by, this and that. All of a sudden, <laughs> I look out my peephole in my door, and there he is with a hand truck wheeling a new refrigerator to my front door. A whole, and let me you know, mind you, the new refrigerators around here just means recycled from another apartment, okay? Yeah, it's new in my apartment because it's never been here before, but as far as being new as an appliance, not even close. So anyway, he shows up, just boom, there he is with the fridge. I have to now, and I was a little bit upset, so in my high tone of voice, I said, hold on, and then I looked at him and again and I said, hold on, and he said, he understood what I was saying because he doesn't speak any English. So I was a little cranked up. I'm like, all this good food is going to be going to waste and all of this stuff. So anyways, I ended up going in there and I got to empty the fridge, empty the freezer. I'm putting all this stuff like in my living room. So then we can wheel out the old one and I got to move the couch out of the way and we got to take the end table and lamp out of the way and we got to take some area rugs and move this and we got to move that so we can make the, uh, the switcheroo. So out with the old, then we wheel in the new and then I got to restock everything and I got to tell you, I don't know about you, but I don't like defrost and then frost again and all of that, it gives me kind of the willies. It's either you eat it fresh, or you have a, maybe a leftover for a day, or once it goes in the freezer, it stays there until you take it out one time, it defrosts and you eat it. Not out and then in 
and all this shuffling around. Creeping me out, man. I got news for you. But anyway, <laughs> it's all dialed in. And I got to tell you, this refrigerator is so quiet. I'm even wondering if it's ever working because I can't hear anything anymore. It went from this noise, yeah, 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 to like nothing. I got like a stealth fridge. Okay, so the fridge is done, but at the end of the day, it's done, it's handled. It's like, you know, you go through these things, man, but fridge number three, I told the manager, I said, you know, it's like a workout living here. I said, now I know why you guys don't have a gymnasium, a gym here to go work out in, because you don't need one. Just living here is a workout. We're changing fridges, we're fixing turlets, where, uh, you know, I don't know, from calling the office, I'm doing curls with the phone, I'm picking it up so much to call the office about things. We got dogs barking, we got poop, we got everything all over the place, and cigarette butts everywhere. It's like, really? So, that being said, Bodie and I have our little Dean Bodie haberdashery, and we're making it work, because Bodie is the greatest. I love Bodie. And you know, let me tell you something. I got one thing to say about Bodhi. Now that we're on the Bodhi topic and how much I love Bodhi, I love you, Bodhi. And if it's quite all right, I need you, Bodhi. To warm the lonely nights, I love you, Bodhi. Trust in me when I say, a oh, pretty Bodhi. Don't let me down, I pray, a oh, pretty Bodhi. Now that I found you, stay. Let me love you, Bodhi. Let me love you. You're just too good to be true. That's why I pick up your poo. And when we walk through the hood, we're always misunderstood. I hope you stay here today. Stay with me always, I pray. You're just too good to be true. That's why I pick up your poo. Everybody! I love you, Bodie. And if it's quite all right, I need you, Bodie. To warm the lonely night, I love you, Bodie. Trust in me when I say, a oh, pretty Bodie, don't bring me down, I pray, a oh, pretty Bodie, now that I found you, stay, let me love you, Bodie, let me love you, you're just too good to be true, oh yeah. A lot going on over here, Dean Bodie Show, and let me tell you something, man. Truffles smell, you know what they smell like? They smell like truffles, okay? Now, if you look at the Dean Bodie, when you come over here and check out the show, you're going to see me pinching my nose because the truffle, I can't get by the smell. Now, let me bring this story around so it makes sense because, hey, Millie, yeah, you hear what he was singing the Frankie Valley song to Bodie, I love you. So this truffle mayo that I bought, it's mayonnaise infused with truffles. Then they have a hot spicy mayonnaise, that's right, infused with truffles. And I have a regular avocado mayo from Primal Kitchen, that mayo's dialed in. But I thought I was gonna be a fancy schmancy, I thought that I was gonna be a culinary wizard, I thought that I was gonna be, I don't know, like Chef Ramsey, or like Emerald Lagasse, or I thought I was Bobby Flay for a minute, and I was gonna make this chicken salad, um, super duper zippity doo dah. And I decided, I decided to take one scoop of the avocado mayo, boom, and I chopped up fresh chicken, roasted chicken. I was into it big time, cause the kid likes to cook. And I haven't really used this truffle mayo I got. Man, I tell you, they send it in this cool packaging. 
Awesome packaging, awesome containers and bottles. Looks really fancy and upscale. Because, you know, if you're a foodie, you get what I mean. If you're a chef, truffles is like a big deal. But I don't know what was going on with this truffle mayo, but I'm going to kind of take you down this story that I went down. And let me tell you something, couldn't get past the smell. If you guys like the truffles, I don't know, man. I don't know if you could have handled this one. So I took one scoop, tablespoon, of the regular avocado mayo from Primal Kitchen. I took another scoop of the spicy, that's right, truffle-infused mayonnaise, and I took a scoop, a tablespoon of the regular truffle mayo all together. I thought that I was gourmet, Joe Gourmet, and I got the salt and pepper in there, and I got the some herbal seasoning, and I got a little turmeric in there, and I put a, um, what else did I put in there? Um, let me think here, a little lemon juice maybe, and I put... I don't know. I made it, I jazzed it up pretty good. And I put it in these containers that I found, and I mentioned this on a previous episode, my Rubbermaid, the Tupperwares are made out of glass. I love these because they don't hold in the odor like the plastic ones do, right? And I'm like, nice going, Rubbermaid. Well, let me tell you something. The truffle chicken salad destroyed the glass Tupperware because of the smelly smell. Now, if a fart, follow me now, if a fart could cut a fart, that's what it would smell like. Let me say that again. If a fart could cut a fart, that's what it would smell like. It was so bad, I could not deal with it. I love the company. I love the packaging. I love, uh, you know, the marketing aspect of it. But the stinky stink, you know, you eat with your senses, not just one of them, all of them. First, you look at the food. That's the visual. Then maybe it comes sizzling at your plate on the plate and to your table. That's kind of auditory. You're listening to it. OK, wow. And then you're saying um, you're going with the smell and you're like, you know, you, you're really taking it all in. You're not getting through this stinky chicken salad that I made. So I told this to my mom. And my mom said, yeah, but didn't she just have the regular mayo to use? And I said, yes, but I decided to use the other truffle mayos that I got. I wanted to use them and make it extra gourmet. And she goes, yeah, but didn't she just have the regular? And I said, yes, but I wanted to jazz it up and become a foodie and all gourmet and do my whole thing and put my zippity doodah on it and make a special chicken salad, truffle style. And then she said, I know, but didn't you just have the regular? I said, yes, I had the regular. So the point she was trying to make was, why didn't you just use the regular mayo? This is not my first chicken salad in life I've made. I know to use the regular mayo as a regular chicken salad. Trust me, from now on, that's what it's going to be. But I decided to try to jazz it up with the truffle mayo. It failed. It bombed miserably. It not only penetrated the stink-free Tupperware and stunk up the whole thing, but I just had to throw it all out. I had to throw the Tupperwares out, and I had to get the farty fart chicken salad out of my apartment. That's how bad it was. So we're not going to use that anymore. And uh, listen, I got my, my older brother, David. I sent him a package of all this truffle stuff as a gift. He probably thinks it's a gag gift because it smells like if a fart could cut a fart. That's what it smells like. So I'm laughing now because he probably thinks it's a gag gift. Like back in the day when we used to go to Spencer's or Barefoot Mailman, you could buy all these gag gifts. It's not a gag. It wasn't a gag gift. And I hope you really like it. And if you do, well, hey, that's your taste. I couldn't get past it. And, uh, you know, <laughs> definitely by far, if I was uh, entering a food challenge and who was going to come up with the stinkiest chicken salad ever, oh, I would have gotten first place on that one, no problem. So anyways, <coughs> Bodie was even looking at me, right, Bodie? Oh my gosh. So that way, that being said, that's the truffle story. That's the stinky chicken salad story. That's our little zippity doodah song and how much I love my Bodie.
She's the good girl Bodhi. She's the best girl in the world, oh yeah. The good girl Bodhi, yeah. The best girl in the world, oh yeah. DeanBodhi.com, 800-878-9698, Bodhi Hotline, Funline, call the Bodhi Line, say something nice to Bodhi, first name where you're from, sing a little zippity doo dah song like we did today, and, um, you know, clean out the cobwebs, give yourself a restart, a reboot, a refresh, and get moving. So, remember to watch the video to the end, click, like, subscribe, and share, do all the stuff you do on YouTube. Five-star rating and review. We'd be appreciated on the podcast. That would be awesome. We're almost at 230 episodes. Can you believe it? Hey, almost 230. This is episode, what, 228, man? Uh, 219 on the podcast. The videos are a little bit first because, and I'm keeping the numbers real, once we get to the next season, every 100, I, I change the season number. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make the numbers match up. But for right now, I'm playing this kind of crazy game in my brain because I started the videos first on the YouTube. Then I, st I learned how to do the podcast. So I just kept what's the real number thing. I don't know. I like to live in reality as much as possible. Most people don't, but I do. Especially, you know, crazy people like, oh, I don't know, Dr. Fettuccini and Nancy Pastrami. We're not here to talk about COVID, schmovid, pandemic, schmandemic all the time. Like all these news channels and there's a six million news channels. Everybody's talking about the same thing, putting a little spin and little twist on it. Everybody's yapping and, and, and talking about everything nobody's doing. Okay? So, listen. Keep your immune system strong. Keep moving forward. That's how you're going to fight this thing off. Whatever variant comes your way. What was that in the back there? Yes, you in the blue shirt, sir. What's the question? In case you couldn't hear. Uh, okay, right, right, right. Oh, okay. In case you didn't hear what he said, he was asking about, what about variant 7.1 XL2? What about that one? That one's coming around. What, what are we going to do about that? Strong immune system. What's that question in the back there? Yes, ma'am. You in the uh, in the green top? Yes. What was that? Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, I get that. Okay. In case you couldn't hear what she asked, she said, "What about the variant from India?" She said, "What about that one? It's got the elemental P X Y Z on it." Answer: Keep your immune system strong. <laughs> Dallas, Texas, baby. Where am I? Dallas, Texas, baby. All right, so listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what's going on over here, Dean Buddy. We have Fortune Cookie Fun Day coming today, so get ready. We have the joke of the day also coming, and a special Halloween joke coming from A-L-E-X-A. -E you don't want to miss that, so hang out with us. We got so much we're going to do today, all kinds of fun stuff going on. Fridge number three. Okay, seriously? It went from yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's so quiet. I can't even believe how quiet this fridge is. Is it really working? So I have my little temperature gauges in there letting me know that the fridge is at 40. Perfect. And the freezer hits the zero. Perfect. The thing's humming and purring like a cat. I guess three's a charm, as they say. So listen, let's see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie. I have to give a special shout out today to two things very important. Number one... I have a good friend, and her name is Elise. Elise, we love you here. Dean Bodie. Um, having a health challenge, and um, if I know, the Elise that I know from back in the day can handle anything. So you keep yourself strong. You keep your immune system strong. You got to go through the process and just follow the course of things. Take care of yourself, and this too shall pass, okay? So I learned something uh, today that I'd like to share and basically don't ever quit on your dreams keep moving forward no matter what and it's ND N D D Q no N D C Q ready N D the initial like the acronym N D C Q what's it mean write it down N D C Q not dead can't quit what do you say not dead, can't quit, NDCQ, write it down, I thought that was very cool, I want to share that with you, because really what it's saying is that, until that happens, you keep living your dream, you keep moving forward, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something, don't let anybody tell you your body can't heal something, we've been healing stuff since we were born, 
from when the sperm and the egg came together. Nine months later, later there was a baby. Oh, I got news for you. 400 trillion to one that you're even born. Congratulations, you made it. All through the school, all through the challenges in this, all the bars and the drinking and the partying and college or wherever you decided to do your life and everything in between, the boyfriends and the girlfriends and the relationships and the this and the that, and touching everything under the sun, rolling around in the mud puddles, swimming in lakes and rivers and, and community pools and neighbors' pools and whatever, you're still going. How's your body handling all that? Oh, I don't know. Two words, strong immune system. What do you say? Strong immune system. So Elise, stay strong, keep moving forward. You can handle anything, not even worried about you. You got this. We love you here, Dean Bodie. Just wanted to give you a shout out. Now, we have not a sponsor, but I'm sponsoring, and this is a company I've mentioned here on a previous episode. We had this crazy winter storm last year, and I was going through a little bit of a health issue myself from a bad reaction to a medication, I'm telling you, it almost put me in a wheelchair. I mean, it was really close. Um, incredible, the most pain I've ever gone through, the, the hardest thing I've ever gone through, and I had to walk Bodie. Bodie's the one that rehabbed me. Did I tell you how much I love Bodie yet? <laughs> so, that being said, I my laundry, I don't have a washer and dryer in this apartment. I have the connections, but I just don't have one. I use it for storage because my apartment's the size of a closet. And... Uh, and I used to walk down uh, four buildings to go do it at the laundry facility. But when I hurt myself, walking with a bag of laundry was, was going to be a daunting task. So I found this place called Laundry Limo. And they saved me. They've been doing such a great job for me for a long time now. I can't even, I can't even tell you. So listen, here's the deal. You, if you're from the DFW, Dallas, Texas, in the area, they handle that area. If you're not, well, I'm sorry, but until they get the private jet and they can come pick up your laundry and fly it back, you got to be living over here in DFW. But to the people out here in DFW, if you mention Dean Bodie Show, you get 10% off. Wow, what do you say? If you mention Dean Bodie Show Laundry Limo, you get 10% off and... Um, so that's pretty exciting. Now, let me tell you something here, gang. Um, in the description below, all right? In the description below, you'll see the their website, okay? And you'll see the phone number for Laundry Limo if you're in the area. Mention Dean Bodie Show. You get 10% off. How cool is that? Laundry Limo, the place that does your sheets. Laundry Limo, the prices can't be beat. Laundry Limo, the Dallas, Texas treat. Oh, yeah. So, Laundry Limo, you rock. I'm so glad I found you. And uh, I can't tell you, man, we're doing good. We're going to be getting into Fortune Cookie Fun Day. I'm very excited about that. That's coming up. And um, let me tell you, man. Uh, oh, you want to hear another little quick zippity doo dah song? A little Bodie Wodie won't. Go home, but you can't catch Bodie, cause Bodie won't go. Try telling everybody, but oh no, little Bodie Wodie won't go home. So, uh, the fridge, the, uh, oh my gosh, the car, the lady walking. This girl has a beautiful big poodle she walks around with. And they're so cute together around this neighborhood. And she ended up doing some food prep for herself for the week for work. Made it with garlic and made it with, um, what else did she make it with? Yeah, some garlic and some onions. And, and the dog ended up going to town on it when she wasn't looking. N needless to say, it was thrown up all over the neighborhood. Where? All over the neighborhood. Coming out in bucketfuls. So I was walking Bodie, watching her dog go through this. First of all, better out than in. That might be the name of this episode. Better out than in. I have a couple titles that I'm working on, but that's, when I saw this, I mean, how much more could there be in there? But man, this obviously the dog had some kind of allergic reaction. There's some things that dogs need to stay away from. 
And this thing was throwing up by the gallons. The poor thing um, was almost like, you know, she had to call poison control. They just said, do this, do that, and let her get it out of there. And, and she was okay. But man, I know I'm going through my things with Bodie. Bodie's healing up. We had the groomer come out yesterday. Bodie's all fluffy, puffy, and wuffy and, and, and gorgeous that I can't even like, she smells like pineapples and she, she feels like the softest soft that could ever exist. I don't think there's a fur coat on the planet, okay? Whether Tony and Joey stole the coats over there and tidy tied and tied, that's softer than Bodie. Bodie's fur, Bodie's coat is softer than anything out there. And I just love her so much, she's the greatest. And Bodhi helped me rehab myself back. She keeps me dialed in on a daily. And um, let me tell you, man, what a relationship with this dog. I can't even put it in words how awesome she is. So now look, before we get into Fortune Cookie Fun Day, let's talk to my sidekick for a second and see what's going on there. Hey, Alexa, what's the joke of the day? Today I have a meditation joke. Why did the zombie meditate after eating? He was experiencing mindfulness. Hey, why did the zombie experience a fullness after eating? Because he was ex having something called mindfulness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see. Um, hey. Let, let's let's do that one one more time because I don't know something put a little zippity doo dah in my hoo ha. Hey Alexa, what's the joke of the day? Today I have a meditation joke. Why did the zombie meditate after eating? He was experiencing mindfulness. Why did the zombie meditate after eating? He was experiencing mindfulness. Awesome. She. she He's killing it already. What a great one. Let's go with the, the time of the season and let's see what's going on with that. And, um, you know, we have the Starship Cruiser behind me. This is Dean Bodie's Starship Cruiser. You got to come to the channel and see the background. The Starship is cruising through outer space. That's how we do it. We did find another spaceship, too, that they're doing here on YouTube that I found also. That's our um, Battlestar cruiser. We have a Battlestar cruiser and a Starship cruiser now. This one here is our Starship cruiser. This is our go-to. This is our main spaceship, but we have the Battlestar cruiser. Maybe on the next episode, we'll put the Battlestar. So you never know which one we got to pull out in case we got to go take care of some business. Me and Dean Bodie. Me and Bodie, which is Dean Bodie and Bodie and Dean, and we do it all together here, Dean Bodie Show. So, hey Alexa, tell us, repeat the Halloween joke. Why didn't anyone want to trick or treat with the ghoul? He was always gobbling up the candy. By the way, I have a routine hey. at life. I can welcome you home with the day's news and relaxing music. Do you want to try it? No, thank you. No problem. Okay. Alexa just went off on a little bit of a tangent, but she was like, you know, um, I don't know. Why did the ghoul all the... Uh... Hey, Alexa, can you repeat that Halloween joke? Why didn't anyone want to trick or treat with the ghoul? He was always gobbling up the candy. Why didn't anybody want to trick or treat with the ghoul? Because he was always gobbling up the candy. That's why. Wow. I'm having a little bit of a, I don't know. The brain is spinning around with so many things now. We got to get into Fortune Cookie Fun Day. And what Fortune Cookie Fun Day is, first of all, thanks for your support here, Dean Bodie Show. The numbers are going up on the daily. What was that? Oh, they're going up every minute? Wow, the numbers are going up every minute in all areas. I'm excited. We're going to be working with a company starting next week to get some of the, uh, the art dialed in a little bit better for the show, whether it, they're talking about the banner and this. And I'm excited about some new stuff that we're going to be doing to make the show more exciting, intros and outros and some other zippity doo -dah things. And so... Uh, somebody's coming on board uh, and we're going to see if we can't get this thing jazzed up a little bit. So we come through the holidays and we come around the corner in 2022 and Dean Bodie show is taking off like a rocket ship. So let's do fortune cookie fun day. 
And what this is, is when I order P.F. Chang's, which I love, and we get the North Northern style ribs, and I'll get some spicy tuna sushi, and I get the chicken ginger broccoli, or the broccoli chicken ginger, however you want to do it in the shuffle waffle. And what else do I get that I like? Though they're lo mein, combo lo mein, or special lo mein is to die for. Um, they usually send the fortune cookies. And the last time they did, Two of the cookies had duplicates. I'm like, okay, listen, you're printing out one too many. Somebody's not shuffling up the cookies well enough. So people are getting duplicates. All right, fortune cookie place. So let's see what we got here. And we, what we do is we just read them and we riff off of it. Okay, remember, we don't edit on the show. We go A to Z, we flip on the mic, and we put it in the can. No safety net here, Dean Bodie. We just get in the hot seat, and we rock and roll. That's how we do it. That's what sets us apart. It forces the creativity. You don't get no, there's no second chance. There's no uh, send it to the uh, special editing room, and everything looks all cleaned up and perfect and all that fun stuff. We like the rough edges over here, Dean Bodie. That's Dean Bodie show. This is how we do it. That's what makes it fun and crazy. So, okay, we're going to go through some fortune. We got like uh, four of them here, and here we go. Let's see. The first one says, and we have to turn it right side up, says, be giving this week, and you will receive great rewards. Okay, so when you give... It comes back to you, right? Ten times. So whether you're tithing, whether you're giving, this doesn't have to be money, giving your time, helping somebody learn a new skill so they can do better in life and all these things. Or another way of putting it is a mitzvah. That's what that is, okay? So how cool is that? Do some giving, man. Do some giving today. Next one says, you will encounter a romantic meeting soon. Hey, man, I'm already taken. Sorry, Bodie is my girl. <laughs> but anyway, listen, man, it's been a long time for any of that going on in my life. But hey, listen, you never know what the universe is going to throw you. But I know it's going to take somebody super special to uh, get me down into that whole thing again. And, uh, but you know, sometimes you can't plan that kind of thing. So we're just going to go with the flow. So be open to two new romantic stuff going on, gang. Okay. Let's see what the next one says. So be giving and romance is coming. Okay. Next one is you will meet a new friend tomorrow. Okay. Well, hey, we're open to that every day. When Bodie and I are walking around the neighborhood, we're always meeting new friends. First of all, Bodie is usually the first one to walk up to the person and say hello. Bodhi loves saying hello and meeting new friends. And then it makes me kind of, hey, you know, don't worry, she's a happy dog, this and that. And some people, I don't know, aren't uh, really like into dogs and they get a little bit whatever, but most are like, wow, what a beautiful dog. And Bodhi just does her thing and it's game on, even with the kids and all that stuff. So really like we're almost, I'm gonna say, 98% of the people we meet are good to go, but the 2%, I don't know, they grew up, maybe they had an experience one time and they're afraid of dogs, so you gotta be careful, but you know, listen, be, I'm, we're always open to new friends, and that's all good. So we have, right, we have romance coming, we have, we're gonna be giving, and um, new friends are coming tomorrow. Hey. This is all cool. Let's see what the next one says. We got two more. We have a trip across the country is in your near future. Well, that would be cool. It's been a while since I've taken a road trip or something like that. I've done some long ones, man, like my Honda CRX. We get in a, from Florida all the way to California. I've made that drive, I don't know, half a dozen times. Let me see. Yeah, probably maybe, well, at least four times. And that's like a four-day journey and some other long road trips. Nothing more fun than that or driving down the coast or however you travel, in the plane, in the train, in the Uber, in the Lyft these days. You know, it's all road tripping, baby. Get on your bicycle and hit the road. You do it the way you do it or you walk around the neighborhood Dean Bodie style. 
And the last one says, <laughs> oh man, oh boy. You will soon be reassured that you're heading in the right direction. Look at that, you'll be reassured. And um, you just keep doing and moving forward. Remember, not dead, can't quit. N-D-C-Q, not dead, can't quit, baby. So don't you ever quit. Remember Body by Jake, don't quit. <laughs> so listen, um, we're doing so much stuff over here, Dean Bodie. And uh, let's see what else is going on. We had some other things we wanted to talk about. Remember, in the descriptions below, we got all the links you can follow us around. We got the Twitter thing going. We got, um, you know, the Facebook link there in the description. We had the TikTok link. We had the Instagram. Uh, the website link is on there too. The donate support button. If you wanted to support the show, you can. You know, whatever level you want to do, it's there. It's open for whatever you want to do. Uh, would be greatly appreciated. And that link is on there too. And uh, go check it out, man. We're having a ball over here, Dean Bodie. And let's see what else we got over here. And let me tell you, that truffle was brutal. And uh, the honey cayenne apple cider vinegar lemonade I made. Honey cayenne, oh my gosh, this honey cayenne apple cider vinegar is the bomb. Number one, it's not only the bomb when it hits you and cleans out, puts a little zippity doo dah on your hoo ha, but <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So Bragg's apple cider vinegar has got a couple different ones. And I ended up making the healthy lemonade that I make with this honey cayenne one, and it was wild. So, you know, remember, things can be comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time. What do I mean by that? The Dean Bodie haberdashery, like if you look around my couch, love seat, the furniture looks really comfortable, you know, but it isn't. <laughs> so you can have a comfortable feeling place, but actual sitting on the furniture, or and it's funny how that can be uncomfortable when it looks so comfortable and inviting. It's kind of weird. I remember getting this couch delivered from uh, Rooms to Go, and it's leather, and it looks soft and plush, but it's so tight and firm, there's no cushy cush, man. And I was a little disappointed, but it's here. I'm leaving it here. It looks good. It would obviously be better for like a, um, I don't know, a law firm's waiting room than here where you can just fall and crash on it. The love seat actually is Bodie's favorite spot because she can watch TV and all her little stuff that we do. That's soft for some reason. The other one, they put a little section in the middle, wound things too tight, bolted things too intensely, and there's no give. There's no, uh, okay, I get it. It's, it's all right. It's too, uh, I don't know, too tight, baby. Too tight leather, not comfortable. So it looks comfortable, but it really isn't. And uh, how crazy is that? So um, other than that, if we go to the bottom of my notes here, and that apple cider vinegar with the cayenne and the honey is wild. So the healthy lemonade, and I've said this recipe so many times, it's good to clean out your liver and your kidney and give them a good flush out, also your intestinal tract too, to start your day like that. Lowers uric acid, balances the pH. It's got some important minerals in it, you know, and uh, good detoxifier. Great way to start the day. So the regular lemonade that I make, healthy lemonade, is the apple cider vinegar, the liquid organic stevia, right? Um, pink Himalayan salt, Redmond's uh, sea salt, also a pinch of that each, and uh, some organic lemon juice in the bottle. I'll get it from Whole Foods already there. Shake it up real good and pour some of that in there and fill the rest up with water. So the only change that I made where you can use a sparkling water also, along with the regular water, not all sparkling, but it kinda gives it a little bubbly, it changes things up a little bit if, from time to time if you wanted to, um, to switch it up. But the apple cider vinegar with this cayenne and honey, you wanna talk about jacking it up a little bit, or if you just take a little shot glass Dump a little of that um, cayenne honey apple cider vinegar with some lemon juice. Give it a little stir and just do a shot. Now, you want to talk about putting a little zippity doo dah on your hoo-ha so you can run around the neighborhood with your foo-fa and uh, 
I don't know, jump up and down, screaming, uh, plippity ploo -plah. Okay, that stuff will get you going and you'll feel like this mental clarity going on because it's just, it's just awesome. And do things like this to keep the organs functioning better, okay? They need some love too, man. You can't just slam Mountain Dew and eat fire hot Cheetos all day and then chase it down with, oh, I don't know, the, the fudge sundae Pop-Tarts and, um, and call that your day over the years that your body's going to break down, man. Okay. So you change your oil in your car, don't you? Okay. So this is kind of a way of changing the oil in your body and giving yourself a little bit of a flush. I recommend that first thing, that healthy lemonade is awesome. And it tastes really good um, because it's kind of diluted. I get the Voss water bottle, the glass one, the large one, and I'll cut it with the water with that. And you'll find out which works for you. I just kind of give a good splash of each, fill it with water, a couple of pinches of the different salts, a couple, uh, a good full dropper of the organic stevia or to your taste and shake that puppy up and you're ready to go. And you can sip on it. It'll last you probably through the week. Um, what a great thing to do. I love it, man. And it's, I'm telling you, you'll have your energy will be better and the organs will be working better and you keep yourself dialed in, keep your body, body chemistry nice and dialed in. So, you know, as we're coming to the end here, um, uh, yeah, my magic bullet did explode again with the coffee drink that I made. My fault, ashwagandha, it helps with stress relief. Ashwagandha, the root that can't be beat. Ashwagandha, helps with stress relief, oh yeah. So, um, a lot going on this week, you guys, and uh, the ashwagandha root <laughs> is something I just mentioned. It does help with stress relief. I ordered the stress relief collagen protein mix drink from Bulletproof Guy, and it's got the ashwagandha root in it, and that's why I brought that up. So check it out, and um, <clears throat> to keep the stress down, um, there's all kinds of stuff available to you. Keep your immune system strong. Keep the organs working good. Keep yourself tuned up, okay? All right, so you can stay healthy. You don't have your health. You don't have nothing, all right? So this week, a lot of stuff was going on this week. So as we're coming down to the end of the show today, thanks so much again for all your support out there, Dean Bodie. We love you. New stuff is coming. It's gonna be jazzed up a little bit. I don't even really know what's gonna happen, but I have a meeting next week um, about the initial process and we'll see, but little things, one thing at a time. Okay. Micro goals, one step further. And you know, listen, doesn't matter. You, if you can run there, you can't run there. You walk there. You can't walk there. You crawl. As long as you keep moving forward, that's all that matters. Okay. So this week, um, was the anniversary of the passing of my father. R.I.P. Dad, I miss you more than words can say. And I just wanted to uh, say I love you very much. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward. And you're always with me in my heart and in my soul. And I love you, Dad. So his anniversary of his passing um, back in the, in the 60s in October um, when I was three and a half years old. And um, so... I wanted to uh, share that with my audience and so you know a little bit more about me. And also, I just passed. October 4th was five years clean and sober. Nice going. Come on. And, um, oh, yeah. I feel great. It's past five years now. I'm excited. And um, I would rather do a shot of the healthy lemonade any day than a shot of liquor and all that stuff and everything that goes along with that. And I'm happy to, to be clean and sober these days. And, um, you know, we just check ourselves on the daily and we keep doing the right things and keep moving forward. So the passing of my dad, me uh, passing five years uh, clean and sober. And, um, you know... Uh, we got new stuff going on with Dean Bodie uh, this week. 
and there's a lot going on this week. It was, it's been really unbelievable. We got the Halloween season coming, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get into it or not. No one ever shows up anymore. Not what it used to be, but it's still kind of fun to be in the spirit of it. And don't let the world bring you down. I don't know. Maybe carve a pumpkin, put a little candle in. I haven't done that in a long time. Maybe I'm going to do that and get a stool, put it out front, and let that little pumpkin face glow. It's really cool doing that. If you've never done it and you cut your own and carve your own, it's a blast. And you can make your own little design. I remember the last time I did it, I was proud of myself and how good it looked. <laughs> and when it's dark out and you see it flickering inside and, and your design is glowing, I mean, come on, man. It's cool. It's very cool. So happy Halloween month. And, you know, do your thing, man. And uh, keep enjoying life and staying on top of things and take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else, all right? And remember, good girl Bodhi, good, good girl, good girl Bodhi, she's the best girl in the world, oh yeah, DeanBodhi.com, 800-878-9698, Bodhi Hotline, Fun Line, call the Bodhi line, say something nice to Bodhi, she's waiting for you, the links are on there, want to get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast, we're on all the platforms. The social link will get you over to the YouTube channel, D E A N B O D I Space Show, YouTube channel. I love my Bodie. I love you, Bodie. And if it's quite all right, I need you, Bodie, to warm the lonely nights. I love you, Bodie. Trust in me when I say. A pretty Bodie, don't bring me down, I pray. A pretty Bodie, now that I have found you, stay. Let me love you, Bodie, let me love you. You're just too good to be true. That's why I pick up your poo. And when we walk through the hood, we're always misunderstood. You are here today, and stay with me always, I pray. You're just too good to be true, that's why I pick up your poo. Hey, listen, we love you out here, Dean Bodie. Have an awesome day. Remember, take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else. DeanBodie.com. Oh, yeah.